Morning folks, Kevin, Word in Vapor here, back again for another hardware review. And today I've got the RX Mini, or the Roulet Mini. Now, this isn't mine, this is actually on loan. So, without a further ado, let's go down to the table and take a butcher's look at it. Watch this, I'll be back in a sec. Here's the box. On the front there you've got the uh, the Roulet RX Mini picture. You've got Insignia, Wismec, blah blah. Yeah, okay. Wismec on there. You've got the Wismec web address on the side there. Various bits on there. Various bits on there. On the back you've got... Well, you've got a breakdown. Keep out of the reach of children and all that. Lots of CE mark, kite marks and that. Okay, let's open it up. Let's uh, have a look. Now, it's not in the box, obviously, because I had it in me mitts a few minutes ago. But, uh, there it is, there. All right. <laughs> uh, you get a manual with it. Now, this is a multitude of uh, languages, this manual. So And uh, English is right at the front, so that's fair enough, isn't it? You get one of these tiny little 3m sticker things it's like a, a leatherette type it's an imitation leatherette and what that does if you don't want the black one which i happen to prefer the black one you could put that over take take the old one off and put that on so there you go right underneath here you get your usual standard usb to micro usb that's fair enough this is an updatable has got updatable firmware on it. So, right, let's put this lock back in here and I can get rid of that then, can't I? Oh, there we go. Here's the uh, the little thing. I've got my 22 Tsunami on there at the moment and the 20 and 22 tanks, RDAs or whatever, fit on here beautifully. Uh, you do, I mean, you could put a 24 or a 25 or even a 23 on it. It won't look quite as nice, but there you go. I mean, had they thought about it when they uh, they designed this thing, what they could have done was move the uh, 510 just back just about a millimetre or two. Therefore, you would have been able to get a 25 on there quite comfortably. But, well, there you go. Anyway, you've got a 510 connection point there, which is stainless steel. You've got a gold-plated spring-loaded connection pin in there, which is good. They ran the 510, you've got the cutouts there for those people that use tanks that take airflow right from the 510. That's fair enough, isn't it? On the top here, you've got, I don't know whether you can actually see that in this light, if I angle it quite, yeah. You've got Rulo or Roulet, uh, RX Mini, and you've got the insignia there for the RX series. I'm not going to go into the menu system on this because it's been done multiple times. Uh, there's not real much point. I mean, if you want to see the menu systems, search out one of my other videos for uh, the RXS or the RX232. And uh, uh, I, I, I believe that I did the menu systems for that on there. Right, now this is a, a 1 to 80 watt device. I've got it set on 60 at the moment. It does variable watts, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, and you've got a TCR mode on there. You've also got a bypass mode on there. You can, uh, um, what do they call it, use it as a pass-through device as well by plugging your USB cable in and sticking it in via the computer. Talking about that, the battery itself is 2100 Ma. And you've got a current charge on there, a charging current, I should say, maximum of one amp. Maximum output current is 50 amps. So there you go, that's that. Resistance ranges on it for, uh, for temperature control, 0.05 to 1.5 ohms. The resistance for variable watts is 0.1 to 3.5 ohms. The usual temperature range is 100 to 315 C and 200 to 600 Fahrenheit. Okay, well, that's that. The size of this thing, little thing 
it's 36 by 45 by 58 millimeters there you go it is tiny but it's one of the bigger tiny ones if you know what i mean okay right let's just take a quick look around it you've got jbow on the fire button you've got the usb charge point and update point just there on the bottom there i don't like this but you've got your you've got your up and down button or your plus and minus button on the bottom i personally would have preferred to have seen them either at the top or on one of the sides but that's a, a nitpick on my side you've got battery venting there battery venting there you've also got battery venting on the bottom you've got a couple of screws there as well well that's it that's basically it yeah right let's go back up top give this thing a bit of a toot shall we I'm going to put my Tsunami back on there. I've got a 2 point something ohm dual coil in there, Clapton's. 0.22, uh, there you go. Let's just give this a bit of a two, because I'm getting a bit clacky, I'm talking too much. <laughs> As you can see, plenty of vapour, absolutely plenty of vapour, and that's at 60 watts. Well, what can I say about it? I do love it. This is on loan, actually, this particular one. I will be getting one for myself. But now that I've seen it and now that I've got it in my hand and I'm, you know, I, 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 I do like it. I think it's sweet. I really do. I much prefer it to, say, the uh, the RX-23. For the simple reason is this one, it's that back bit that gets me. If you've got it in three battery mode, you've got like a lip on there. It drives me absolutely insane still. There you go. Let's put this up against the original RX. It's not the DNA version. I haven't got the DNA version, but you can see the size difference there. I mean, yeah. Right. It's basically the same shape. Put my tank back on there and give it another bit of a toot, shall we? On the RDA, I should say. Right. God, blimey. Well, where are you? There you are. <laughs> As I said, this is on loan. The people that loaned it to me were Fogarty's Vapor Store here in Worthing. And I thank them very much for allowing me to borrow it because uh, it's... Uh, it, it, Andy, you're going to make a sale here, mate, because I, I'm in love with this little thing. I really am. Have I got something else that's a little bit smaller that I can uh, put it up against? Uh, I can't put it up against that because that's big. <laughs> it's the Pico Squeeze, yeah? Yeah, Pico Squeeze. That's the uh, COV, yeah? Pretty well similar. This one, or well, pretty well similar in sizing, actually. At the uh, This one obviously is a lot thinner. And... Thinner mods, they're okay. I prefer a handful. If you know what I mean. I've also got the nugget here. Yeah, that's pretty well much of a, a muchness. Uh, I've got well, I'm throwing things all over the place here. I've got the Gear 50S from uh, uh, Smoke Joy. That's right. Yeah, I, that is pretty well much the same size. Again, it's a thin one. Uh, what else have I got that I could put it up against? Yeah, I've got a tiny little one here from Totally Wicked. It's the Curve. That's a little bit smaller than that one, so that would be in the smaller range of... Uh, this would be in the larger range of small mods, if you know what I mean. And that's a Snow Wolf Mini. Yeah? There you go. Let's give this a toot. Need some more liquid in there. There we go. And I've got... What have I got in here? I've got Apple Danish. Apple and cinnamon danish for its uh, flaky vapes, yeah? That's an Ap Apollo 6. Yeah, I actually won this, believe it or not. I won uh, I won three 60ml bottles just before Christmas. Absolutely lovely. See me through. I've got a bit left in there. <laughs> I love it. Love cinnamon. Oh, that's better. God, blimey. That's much better. Yes, love that. <laughs> right, what can I say about this? 1 to 80 watts. I think I've covered most of this, actually. But uh, 1 to 80 watts. The construction of the box, they just say it's metal. What type of metal it is, I don't know. I think it's aluminium. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's definitely an aluminium billet type, type stuff. 
otherwise the magnets from that would actually stick to it but uh, there you go right let's put that to one side yeah that was my able mod okay yeah no bad points there are no bad points really with this the only thing that I would say I don't like about it, and I mentioned this earlier on, is those buttons that are on the bottom now. I don't like that. I would, As I said, I'd much rather have seen them on the top or the side. But what can you do? I mean, that's the way that J-Bo designed it. So that's the way that Wismac built it, I suppose. Oh, I don't know. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Right, the display on here... OLED screen that shows the battery life, resistance of the coil, the ohms, the output wattage and voltage temperature settings, and the current voltage of the battery, plus the outgo output rating in amp. So you've got a lot of information on there as well. I think I told you that the battery is 2100 Ma. It's also got a built-in short circuit protection. Okay, guys, this is Kevin from Worning Vapor saying thanks very much for listening to my warblings on have a great new year's folks and i'll catch you on the next one cheers for now thanks for watching because you know i'm all about that vape about that vape air bubbles i'm all about that vape about that vape air bubbles i'm all about that